Well, Erica has been an ambassador for 15 years, and we've known Erica since before that, and it's just been great working with her. And you know, every business has a, a front office and a back office. Well, Erica has been our back office. She is the inner workings of the Ambassador Club, and she's been very valuable to us, and I believe she's been very valuable to the business community. She's out there all the time promoting Chamber and promoting the businesses so that they can utilize their membership of the Chamber. As the Chief Ambassador, my role is to record which ambassadors attended which events, making sure that everybody has all the Chamber information sent out to them. If there's help needed, if the Chamber needs help, I'm the liaison for that. The Chamber would ask me, hey, are there any ambassadors willing to do this or that? Um, it would include running the monthly meetings and making sure that information from the Chamber gets to the ambassadors and vice versa. Any things that the ambassadors, ideas they have or bring up get back to the Chamber of Commerce. When Erica came on board as the chief ambassador, that's when things really got to moving with respect to the club and our activities and the support and so forth. She should be very proud of that and she should be honored to get this award because uh, she is a real true leader. It's not like military leadership where you lead by rank, you outrank someone else, you give them orders. She leads by herding cats and getting us all going in the same direction and she inspires us to do what she wants done just by her personality and leadership. And time after time and year after year, she gains our respect and her admiration. We think she's a super leader. My favorite part of being an ambassador is number one, the other ambassadors that I get to know on a regular basis. I get to meet with them. We become very close. We're at a lot of events together and the friendships that we have formed. The other favorite part is that I get to be where new businesses are opening up. I get to meet people coming into the area. I get to know what's going on in our community and that really is my favorite part. I'm, I'm a people person so I love meeting new people, love welcoming new people to our community. Everyone that comes here says the same thing. There's no place like Santa Maria. It's welcoming and it's generous and they're just so happy to be here and it's fun to be a part of that. Not being chief ambassador anymore is a little bittersweet. It doesn't mean I'm leaving the ambassador club, but I really feel that in the spirit of rotation, the ambassador club has evolved to the place now that we really, we have some up and coming leaders within the committee, and I want to see them step up to the next level and take over the leadership role. We are very delighted that she has received the ambassador award for the year. She is well deserving of it and we are reluctant to let her go as our chief, but we know that she's going on to do bigger and better things. I hope that I have represented the chamber in a professional and enthusiastic way and that I've encouraged other people to take part in chamber membership and to really network their businesses and grow their businesses. So it, it means a lot. I, I hope I've been a good example, not only to the other ambassadors, but to the community members as well.